today we're out here working on this two family property. I got Lauren, the princess of darkness on rinse mode, taking care of the alcove there, working our way to the back. There's a garage in the back also with an apartment on top of it. They'll be washing momentarily and we're having a good time. <laughs> oh, don't do that. <laughs> For some reason, I've been having trouble pulling soap for the last couple days. It's been working kind of intermittently. I've changed out injectors a couple different times. I put a fresh injector on this morning and we were working pretty good for a while. I think I'm gonna replace the DN10 valve on the Flow Pro. That's the only other thing it could be. I'm gonna have Lauren finish rinsing in here, then we're gonna do a quick swap and see if we can't resolve our issues. All right, so we take the Flow Pro apart. Very easy. That plate comes off the bottom. The DN10 valve comes out. Okay, I've got everything quick released in there. This is the valve that I took out. You can see it's fairly crusty inside. It seems to be operating correctly, opening and closing, but it's possible that it's just too worn out in there and it's not making a good seal. I really don't know. This is the next thing to change though. And we got a brand new one on the truck. Keep a few extras around. Threading my nipples on there and we'll get it back together in just a minute. All right, there it is all built and fits right into there. You can see there's a little square or flat piece. That's the actuator. This fits right in perfectly just like that. This plate goes right back on top. Screw it in gently. And then quick connect it, we'll be back in action. All right, let's find out. Oh, yeah. right, you can hear the hiss. Looks like soap to me. Oh yeah. Yeah. Got some suds on the glass. You can see it. All right, you know when something's different, right? You gotta pay attention to all the little nuances, the sounds, the feelings, the change in flow, right? So I've been noticing a change in flow. This is rinse mode. And usually when I, when I hit over to mix mode, it goes through the injector. You get a noticeable drop in GPM coming through. So check it out. I'm gonna try to hit the rinse button, mix button. While this is happening, watch this. See that? Big difference. Now I know it's bypassing. It was doing that less yesterday. I wasn't noticing as much of a pressure drop yesterday. So I think that's another indicator that it was the DN10. I think it was closing correctly. I think that the valve itself was just worn out and water was getting past the valve. So anyway, pay attention to the little nuances because it's telling you a story. All right, next house wash across town, still in Killingly. Simple little cape, everything's working the way it should. Should be should be simple, real easy project. Everything's working the way it should be. Go! just wrapping up on a nice easy little cape uh, we got this from the habitat for humanity i guess they help with housing and then they offer some programs to clean things up and take care of some details 
So this guy got a house wash through Habitat for Humanity. And uh, they've got all of our information, our insurance, our W-9, all that fun stuff. And we're in line to be a vendor in the future. Good stuff. All right, next house, Big Cape. Third time I've washed this property. Lauren's over here on the very high side. Property, of course, drops away in the back. The back is very high. Made the shots, no problem. Even made that shot up into the peak. No problem. Rinse mode. Soap in the final side. Lauren's calling four G's. They're right down the road, baby. We'll get a quick sandwich before the last project. All right, we're cruising through it. We're on the last project. We got this extended cape, very easy, vinyl sided, dirty bulkhead, extra piece of fence, cleaning the porch. Had to stand on the porch railings to be able to shoot the chimney. You know, fun, beautiful little property. Park-like setting. This is Putnam now, back in my hometown, wrapping up. And believe it or not, 4G's was closed, man. No sandwich. So it's a no lunch kind of day. We're gonna go home. We're gonna get some Thai food today. Go home, jump in the pool, eat on the picnic table.